Pacifica, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be covering the Dyson Supersonic Professional Hair Dryer. I actually got it in the mail like a week ago, almost five or six days ago, and I wanted to unbox it, but I wasn't finding the time to. And I really wanted to open this in front of you guys, share my reviews, share the experience of using the Dyson uh, Supersonic. So I have it right here in front of me. My hair is super frizzed up. I just came out of the shower, so I can try this. Um, I also got two attachments with this. So this is the Rubber Salon Storage Solution Retail. Um, and then I got this other one. This one is the Supersonic Stand. Okay, so I got these two. This is pretty bulky. Um, so I got these three packages uh, individually. Uh, I'm going to try these out, uh, share the experience of it, share some facts and everything that I know about the dryer. Also, before we get started, the reason I got this Dyson is uh, because I have super thick hair, as you guys can tell. I cut it so uh, it may not look as thick, but you guys can tell how much it frizzes up. Um, so because I have like super thick hair, I've heard the Dyson's really good because it like smoothens it out, gives you a shine, gives you like a little bit of a, you know, a sleek look because I don't like my hair when it looks like this thick and poofy. Um, this retails for $449. I know if you have like a cosmetologist uh, certificate, you get like a 20% discount. So if you guys have that, you may want to, you know, use that to this professional one you can get the normal hair dryer from Dyson or the professional I got the professional um, and there's also different colors you can choose between but I think for the professional it's only the silver one so I have the silver one here in front of me um, and yeah I'm gonna get this video started I'm gonna unbox this for you guys and yeah we'll see how it is packaging is really nice it is very nice I don't see anything like moving inside here all right, so I just opened the bottoms, the tape and everything, and I'll try and see if it comes out. There it is! Okay, all right, let's see how it is. This, like I said, it's in the color silver. Oh, they package this really nicely. This is the power cord, and then we have attachments. So we have this one right over here. So we have this attachment. This is for people who have curly hair, uh, like super curly hair. We have one more. All right, okay. We have this attachment. And then, oh, wow. This is a lot. We got this attachment right over here. We have this. Awesome, okay. All right, so we have this opened up. We're gonna open up the, um, the stands really quickly. Open this up. This is the stand. Okay, so I'm open this up. This is what it looks like. They gave a little manual, and then there's all these different parts in it. Okay, so I think I have to set this up. I think this goes on the wall, so there's a the sticky. All right, and for the second attachment, we have this right over here. This is the display stand. So when you keep it on the countertop or on your dressing table, it's kind of compact. All right, so this is what the stand looks like. Kind of bulky, actually, it's kind of heavy. Um, and then this attachment goes here, one goes here. All right, so I believe this is how it goes, and this is just like how you wanna store your attachments. These are all magnetic, um, so kind of just like helps to uh, stay here. They're strong, they don't just fall off like that. Um, and yeah. So now I'm actually going to start using this. I'm actually very intrigued by what all these attachments do. So I'll keep trying them out as I go. Um, but I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna get this started. So this is a cord right over here. This is 11 feet. So it's a huge cord. I guess people who use this in salons and stuff, which this is originally made for professionals, um, can actually have a lot of cord length. So this is awesome. And this is what the buttons look like. This is the US plug, but essentially this is what it looks like. All right, so I plug this in right now um, and I'm going to turn this on. 
So this is really, really strong. I have some notes down that I wanted to share with you guys before we start using the Dyson. Um, this thing down here uh, is the filter that they recommend you should change every day. But for me, I think I'll be changing it every second day because I'm only gonna blow dry my hair twice a week. I think I'll probably just change the filter, clean it out, soak it in water, whatever, for 30 minutes. Um, and probably do this twice a week. A quick thing that I noticed with this uh, hair dryer is that it's very lightweight. I almost don't feel much. Uh, this part is probably the lightest. This is a little heavier just because the motor is actually in here. So I do feel like the the weight isn't distributed properly, but overall it's very lightweight, very compact. I feel like I can wrap my entire arm around it. Um, and over here are the heat settings. So. This is for heat, uh, there's three different speeds, and this is for the cool. This is the power button, so you can move it up and down. This is for cooling, so you wanna set your blow dry. This is the heat settings. So yeah, I think as I keep using this, I'll probably adjust to the um, the way I can handle this blow dryer. Uh, before I got this, I've never actually used blow dryers as much, so excited to see how I'll use this, and I got a comb here, so we're gonna, use this and see how it works out. Okay, so I'm going to lower the speed a little bit. I can tell that it's not as noisy, you know, it's kind of like soft, but also I can lower down the um, heat of this, okay, and the speed of the fan, okay, perfect. I think the medium is better, high is too much. I'm going to use the professional concentrator, which is this nozzle right over here, uh, and attach this right with this. It's all magnetic. And now we'll get it started. So I'm gonna section my hair out. I'm gonna take this, turn this on. Okay. All right, so with the first one, I definitely feel like it did straighten my hair out a little bit. All right, so I see uh, what they mean by if you go on the second setting, you kind of get that bounce. Uh, the third one is way too strong. You guys can already see I'm kind of struggling. This is the first time I'm using any of this. So two things I noticed right off the bat, um, it is way less noisier. And also, even though I'm on like a decent amount of heat, I don't feel like I'm being burnt or anything. The motor is on average six times faster than any other dryer. Also, they say that they have high pressure, high velocity jet of controlled uh, air. I definitely feel that the speed can be dropped. You can drop it to medium, you can take it to high, you can increase the heat, lower the heat, whatever you want. It is 1600 watts, um, and so it's pretty energy efficient. Uh, the highest it goes to is 212 degrees, so it doesn't get too heated, which is what I definitely feel from this. Um, the attachments are, well, this one, which is the professional concentrator. Then you have this one, this right here. This is the diffuser attachment. And then you have this one, which is, I think it combs through your hair. And then this one, which I have to understand how to use this one. I'm not really sure. Um, but we get four attachments. I believe you can also get another attachment, which is called the smoothing nozzle, which is sort of similar to this, but it's a little thicker at the end. Um, people will kind of say that one they like because they have like thinner hair. If not, this is usually what's preferred. Also, if you guys want, you can get this non-slip heat mat so you can keep your blow dryer on it or your straightener or whatever if you want. You can keep it on the heating pad uh, in case you don't want to keep it on the floor or on your bed. Additional attachments that were being offered, which I didn't get, are the comb and the gentle air attachment. I didn't get those, didn't feel like I needed those. I have my comb, I'm comfortable using these. This attachment, the pro attachment, is best for hair to get the smooth, sleek, and more shine into your hair. The smoothing nozzle, which I don't have with me, it's a little thicker at the end. That one actually says there's too much air coming out of it, so you don't want really to get the best results. So I'm gonna finish blow drying my hair so you guys can see the end results of it. And I'm actually gonna time myself to see how long do I take with using the Dyson. Um, typically, if I was to dry my hair and straighten it out and style it completely, I would take on average 30 minutes to do the entire process, 30 to 35 minutes. 
So if this reduces my time, it'll be all worth it. So I'm gonna finish blow drying my hair. Similar process, I know I'm struggling a little bit, but I'll keep at it. Just place your comb like this. Try to get a comb similar to this one. Turn it on and just drag it out. All right, so you guys can already see a little bit of a difference. I've only done the front so far. Um, so I'm kind of getting this straight hair look, which I usually like. Also, it's not like sleeky, like if I was straightening my hair. Also, the best thing is, it's not as hair damaging. So that's another very exciting feature because I feel like with all the straightening and everything, kind of damaging my hair in a way. So I'm gonna finish drying my hair and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so I'm back. I was timing myself and I took a total of seven minutes to get my hair from that frizz to this. Guaranteed I did do a little bit when I was showing you guys, but I needed time to go in front of my mirror and like do it. I think I need more practice, uh, but I check out the gist. So I basically do this, all right, drag it down. And I think because I have short hair, I have to go down deep and then bring it back down. So that's actually doing the blow dry. All right, so currently I am on speed one for the air and I'm on the second heat, which is I think perfect for me. In the meantime, I also did my mom's hair and she is so happy with it. She literally is just like touching it and everything. She uh, she could feel the difference as soon as I showed her my hair um, and she was like, okay, I want to try it too. So I think we got another fan in the house. But this is what uh, my hair looks like now. You guys can see the difference from the start of the video to now um, and yeah this is what my hair looks like now obviously the hair dryer is fantastic I can see a huge difference uh, in terms of how it's different from a hair straightener to this uh, hair straightener kind of makes my hair like sticky and like flat this is like flat but I still feel like the bounce and like the silk is there um, I can feel like a shine on my hair so I'm happy about that I also have a little bit of colored hair so I don't want to damage by straightening all the time few cons that I do feel about um, that are negatives towards this Dyson are that first of all it is expensive it's costly so uh, save up for it if you guys really want to get this the cool feature here the cool down feature if you want to set your blow dry um, as I was using it annoying thing is you have to hold it down so if I hold down the entire time, it cools down, I can set it down, it actually is pretty cool, I like it, I can feel the coolness and everything, so that I can definitely tell. The annoying part is that I have to constantly hold it down, I have to hold down the cool the entire time. It's just not convenient, that's all. The placement of the heat is a little weird. Usually, I would expect that to be down here, but the heating is up here. It's a little weird because if I'm straightening my, if I'm blow drying my hair and if I want to change setting from here, I can't. I have to physically turn it off and use this to change it. A little inconvenient, uh, something that I don't like on this uh, Dyson, but uh, but that's okay. I, I guess it all comes with time, so that's another thing I don't like. Another thing is that the filter, which is down here, as I was blow drying, I felt like I'm covering it. I don't want to cover it. That's not the point of it, right? You're supposed to hold it from here. But I felt like I was covering it a lot because it's small. Um, so I shouldn't be covering it, but just felt like uh, my hand is like going there a lot. So the filter could be like positioned somewhere else maybe, but the filter positioning is a little off to me. That's about it. Uh, other than that, it's a very nice uh, blow dryer. They could just work on these like heat settings and like heat filter settings. I mean, it could be adjusted anywhere. Uh, but overall, I like it. The cord actually doesn't get tangled. Cords get tangled all the time. This cord is just not getting tangled up, so I love it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I have my Dyson and I'm super excited for, to use it. I'm gonna have to learn how to properly, you know, blow dry and everything, but that I'll keep learning and I'll keep showing you guys in my future vlogs. But this is my review of the Dyson Professional Hair Dryer. This is a stand for it. I'm gonna put it right over here so my Dyson attaches. 
can. You can put your other settings and attachments right over here. But anyways, that was it for my Dyson Professional Hair Dryer Review. I really like it. I think I'll rank it uh, an 8 out of 10. Super happy with it. Excited to use it in the long run. If you guys have used the Dyson in the past, please comment down. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And don't forget to hit the bell notification for future updates. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys!